What is up dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mods 8. Guys, today we are focusing on getting into some really in-depth mechanism things, so I hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys, so yeah, we are here doing some mechanism stuff today. We have our basic infusing factory here, putting the work in, getting us some steel. It's still kind of the spooky season for some reason, and even though it's November. But anyway, we got some steel coming in, which is awesome. So we're gonna put that in here. We're also gonna put this in here. And the reason why is we need to make an enriching factory. Where did you go? Enrichment chamber, yes, this guy here. I say enrichment factory, I'm crazy. So we need to make a couple of these guys. That's cool, we need some of those. We also need to make some metallurgic infusers. Um, yeah, so we need some redstone here. We need some osmium here. We need the enrichment factory. Did I even make it? I did not. Uh, that's why we need the metallurgic infuser actually. So we're gonna break this block here, which is okay. And now we need a cable, good. Okay, so we put this here and the metallurgic confuser goes on top. Beautiful, the redstone goes in here. We won't put that much in it. And then we put the osmium ingots in here and that will give us the ability to make the basic control circuits, which is good. All right, so we got the basic enrichment circuits that we need here, which is amazing. Bam, those guys go in. We're gonna wait for two more of them so we can make a little bit higher tier of an enrichment chamber. And then we're gonna put this bad boy right here for now. So here we go. We're gonna put the enrichment chamber right here, the basic enriching factory and cool. So we have those there, which means we can take a couple diamonds here and we can throw them in and these are gonna get enriched. Um, which means they're gonna get amazing, which is cool, but it will allow us to take diamonds and put them, we'll just do this, we'll put them in our basic factory here like so, and then we can start doing these guys, yeah. And so it's a lot more efficient, we can do redstone in here as well. Um, to give kind of the enriched redstone and then we can upgrade the cables and then the reason why i wanted to do that here real quick is because we need more power so we're gonna upgrade these guys they're just not able to transfer enough power which is totally okay it's understandable but now just that alone yeah we're already starting to see a little bit more pow pow oh a little bit more power come through and we'll do here okay so yeah we're over here now which is kind of funny but yeah this allows the cable to hold a lot more power uh and once this is ready yeah we even got more good we can put even more in good so yeah we just keep coming here and i believe actually we don't even need to break them we can just click here a couple times yeah and those should be all upgraded to the diamond tier and if we come back we can see that we are definitely getting more power out of these guys. Right now it's just charging up the big cable here, but it's charging it up super quick. So yeah, very cool. So with that being said, we have the enriching factory. We're also gonna make a smelter as well, but we do need a couple more of these guys, which is totally okay. And we're gonna grab these dudes, put the redstone ones in here. And yeah, those are good to go. Oh man, we're gonna have to dump this. That's okay. Oh, we didn't need to do that. Oh well. See, so yeah, as you can see, that put a lot more out, which is awesome. So here we go, an energized smelter in the house. And then we're gonna want to upgrade this guy to here, boom. And so this is an even better furnace once it's upgraded than this guy, but this is a, still a good furnace. I won't worry too much about it, but that guy's good. Perfect. Okay, so atomic alloy, we're gonna get into enriched obsidian now, which is gonna require a metallurgic infuser, right? Another one. So we're gonna make a couple of these actually. Okay, so we should have one for each. And I think we're gonna put each of these guys up here. 
and I would like to upgrade each of these guys to a higher tier. Good, okay. Basic infusing factory, shebang, 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 and then this guy and this guy, good. I'm just put the smelting factory there. Well, what we're actually gonna do is the enriching factory is gonna be here, and we are gonna run cable up like so, and we'll do this, and then we can get the exchanging tool. Beautiful, looks good. Now all of these have power, amazing. We're gonna need to get some energy upgrades onto each of these guys, so that'll be fun. Um, let's see, yeah, cool. That still charges us right there, so we can actually just put um, a machine or something like that here, maybe run the cable up through this little area and over. But anywho, we now, actually, I'm gonna have to do that. That looks too good. All right, look, looking minty here, if I do say so myself. Okay, cool. So we have all of these pretty much set up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and swap these two. Fusing factory, enriching factory. Yeah, so we'll have one of each here. We'll get some item frames. Um, let us see here. Do we wanna do the item frames or is there something else cool? Okay, so this is kind of what we have going. I don't know if I like the wood look there, uh, but it does display that. So I think we just need something kind of similar to that eventually. Like it's not really a big deal. Um, actually, hang on, I remember something. Yes, there are glass item frames in this mod pack here. That was tab. All right, so we're gonna make a glass item frame because those are cool. Whoops, shouldn't have done that, okay. All right, uses. Cool, okay. And then once you place this in here, yeah. Cool, okay. So all of the diamonds will go in there and the enriching factory is here. We'll place the redstone one right here. Um, we need some coal ones. I'm sorry, I, I said coal, I meant carbon. We have the carbon ones there now. And then the final one is just gonna be the um, alloy, uh, which is awesome. So we don't even actually need this guy anymore. I do know exactly who we're gonna put here. Um, so let's take this metallurgic confuser, put them back, and then we can get rid of that, get rid of this guy. Cool, okay, so we need to make the enriched obsidian. This is our goal. We need to make some of this stuff. Okay, so we need the refined enrichment chamber, refined obsidian uh, metallurgic confuser. So we need the obsidian dust and we can take an obsidian and enchantment. Yeah, let's see. We can take obsidian in the enchantment thingamabob or, or enrichment chamber. That's the word. So we'll just take these guys out and put these guys in. So we take the enrichment chamber, booyah, put those in. Let's see. Um, we can actually just make a couple here. Okay, so here we're gonna put a total of, um, let's see, this guy, yeah. We're gonna put three energy upgrades and three speed upgrades. So now these should enrich super quickly way faster than they were before, which is amazing. Um, very good. So all we're doing now is taking the obsidian dust here. We need to make sure these are all on auto sort. On, good. All right. Uh, yeah, those are moving along. Yes, cool. We have the refined obsidian dust. Very cool. All right, there we go. Um, we'll put these in here. Now we take these guys. And we put these guys in here now. Booyah, we have ourselves some enriched obsidian. Very cool. So we can take this guy, maybe two more. 
and we can all convert these to the max tier. Yes, top tier alloy. Booyah. Cool. So we're getting really good with mechanism. Love to see it. Good, good, good. There it is. There's all the mechanism stuff. Okay. So enrichment chamber. We got this, buddy. Enriched carbon. We got it. Energized furnace. We got it. Got it. Okay. So we've got all of the coolies done. All right, so let's work on maxing out the energy upgrades for all of these machines. So we just take the hammer here. We're gonna just smack this around. That's good. Okay, so we have a lot, I believe. Yeah, that one's full. That one was partially full. Oh yeah, okay, so these all have maximum energy efficiency upgrades. Uh, the basic smelter does not. We'll go ahead and finish the energy upgrades for these guys. Then we can take these dudes, put them in here. Now we've got a lot of refined obsidian, which we're excited about. We even got more coming in, so we can continue to do this. Good, okay. So we still need to work on a, a few of these. So I'm gonna do three stacks of iron in here. And once these are all done processing, we will be able to um, make all, like some more speed upgrades. I think we're only gonna do four on each because otherwise it gets a little uh, power expensive basically. So just gotta be careful with that. But yeah, look at that. We have five leftover enriched obsidian and 3000 mil buckets of the refined obsidian. So we have a lot here um, and we have all of the things, which is so cool. So yeah, I'll get this started upgrading it and what the cool thing is is that the upgrades we're doing um i'm going to be careful about this so the more we upgrade this guy the faster this guy gets and the faster we can do upgrades so we might actually just let this guy kind of be a little quick yeah, we're using 189 FE per tick, which is okay. We have windmills that are able to support that, um, that will actually possibly be upgrading soon. Like putting them all the way up as high as they can go and having a lot of them. But yes, now we can make more energy or pipe up our, yeah, speed upgrades for the others. All right, four. Four. You got two. There you go. How many do you got? Three. We'll give you that many. Five so that that's quicker. Good. And then why not? We'll give this guy some. All right, dudes and dudettes. So <clears throat> we have a stack of each plus a little bit extra of those. So I wanna go ahead and upgrade and make some of the better circuits here. Um, so in order to do that, we're just gonna take uh, 16 and we'll take them kind of through the ringer basically, um, like so. Good, I didn't realize we had any of those in our inventory. Gonna do six, oh, 17. Cool, so that should be the last of this area. Very good, and then, ooh, we got an atomic alloy back. Very cool. So these guys are good to go. Wants to kind of go through um, this little setup here. So electrolytic separator, uh, water source, which is the sink, we've already got that, and then the gas burning generator. So electrolytic separator, these are pretty simple to make. So we're gonna go ahead and make one of these here real quick. Um, we do need some osmium dust, which is good. Cool, electrolyte separator. Need one of those. Those. Sorry, that, that threw me off. Um, yeah, so let's get a, a flux point. This guy here, we should have. Okay, we can make some of these. Good. Perfect, okay. So here we go. 
this guy, electrolytic separator. Okay, so here we go. Electrolytic separator, boom. Here we go. And um, let's see. We need the red. So which area is that? We'll do... We'll do, okay. So the front is where that comes from. Let's grab a pipe. There we go. And then we put that here. Yep, okay, so this is working. Um, it takes a lot of power. So let's get some energy upgrades here going. We got one. Let's try a couple more, okay. Okay, so eight energy upgrades is still using the same amount of power. Okay, so energy upgrades don't work on this guy. That's cool. Okay, so we're generating that, which is, I guess, okay. Um, and then we have the water source that we did. Very good. Um, and then now we need gas burning engine. So let's try that. Make one more electrolytic core. Okay, and what does the electrolytic core do? What do we need this? Generator can burn both hydrogen and ethylene to produce power. Oh, okay. So we're taking the hydrogen out. Um... So that is the dark blue. So dark blue goes over here. I think we need to do something like this. Right now that's power. We do something like this. And then, yeah, we need a gas pipe now. Pressurized tube, perfect. Got a little bit of iron in here left, very good. All right, pressurized tube, great. So now this is producing zero FE per tick, amazing. Let's see here, if we take this guy. Hmm. Okay, so I think the this produces a lot more power <clears throat> than it takes to make this. Um, so this could literally run on itself. Yeah, that that could run on itself very easily. So let's make a configurator because we desperately need one of these. Okay, wrench. There we go. So we're gonna take this guy, and then we're gonna place it this way. Take this guy, we'll break it. We'll go like this. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Now it's pulling power out. This is only using 160 FE per tick, and this is producing a lot. And how are we looking? Okay, let's put some speed upgrades on this guy, see if that helps at all. Those are energy, we need speed. Okay, I don't wanna put too many in here. Okay, let's see, can we get away with just one speed upgrade? No, it has to be two. And then we're gaining.
Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. That scared me. Okay, we're doing good on power. Now we're only producing 640. It's changed. Why? Okay, so we went ahead, we created this. No burning hydrogen will not produce more power than it costs to run the electrolyte separator. Use ethylene instead. Well, you know, I feel like it's kind of good. Um, but yeah, so hydrogen, oxygen, we're good to go. We did that. Uh, we have the cable, very good. Let's make a purification chamber now. That is the next step. What this does is if we take a look here, it will use things, uh, use oxygen to clean. Um, yeah, so we can get some more it's like efficient or it's like fortune kind of a little bit um it just utilizes the oxygen so what we need to do is make a couple of these we need to make a couple of those yeah let's make some more okay so we should have everything we need other than the another enrichment chamber to make the purification chamber so booyah there we go we have the purification chamber very cool we can put this guy right here and yeah so that will take some of those and make it cool but anyway let's go and upgrade it i say make it cool i'm sorry it will allow us to kind of use it as a uh, fortune for some things that i guess we wouldn't be able to so we have all this that we can put oxygen into that we are kind of dumping here um so let's see let's see about making a tank a gas tank hmm. yes here we go basic chemical tank there we go let's upgrade it to the next tier let's upgrade it to the next tier and what do we need to upgrade it to that tier we got it okay so yes we got those we got all of these very cool okay so we put this here we have our pipe that we can pump right in we're pumping oxygen in here and then eventually we can just use that oxygen to pump into here very cool very good all right so the next step is a crusher it crushes things uh, it's pretty simple to make actually, but let's see. What does it do? Well, it turns moss block into biofuel. That's really handy for later on melons. Um, yeah, uh, it utilizes a lot of really easy resources to get a hold of and also just crushes things. So we don't have to use the hammer to do it anymore. So let's definitely uh, create this. This is a bucket. Okay, so here we go. Crusher. Should it? Yep, we got it. Cool beans. Okay, so purification, purification chamber. We definitely need, however, do we need it there? I do not believe so. So let's go ahead, we'll upgrade it to the next tier. We got lots of these. There we go, cool. So basic crushing factory. We'll upgrade the sawing factory. Cool, I didn't know you could do that. Whoops, not teams. 
All right, so there we go. And then biofuel. So we just need to make two biofuel that gives us substrates. Um, and then HDPE pellets, really? Yeah, you do need that. Um, wait, that's gonna take a little bit of time before we do that. But I think we've done enough with mechanism for today. Let's figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the video. Okay, so I lied. We're gonna actually do a little bit more in mechanism. I want to go ahead and make a flamethrower. I think that would be super awesome to just be able to shoot flames at things. Um, yeah, so here we go. This should be flamethrower, booyah. Uh, no gas stored. Um, what gas does it use? Oh, hydrogen probably makes sense. Okay, so let's get the flux point. And we'll just give this thing a little extra juice here. Yeah, not that funny. Okay, and then I say we break this cable. That'll show them. Yeah, we're getting the flamethrower. Okay, and then the other thing we're gonna make is the atomic disassembler. I really, really wanna make one of these bad boys. And all we need is one of those, so. Oh, is that the only way? Okay, it looks like we need to make an osmium compressor. That's totally fine. We can make that. Just need two of these. Good. Okay. Osmium compressor. There we go. Booyah. All right. There we go. We got to get some osmium. Uh, let's make one of the tier upgrades as well while we're at it. Maybe hold a little bit more osmium. Perfect. All right, and then we just need the crushed obsidian to be enriched. So we need some obsidian. We're running low. Oh, wait. We just need one ingot. So that's all we're going to do. There we go. That's using a lot of osmium. Holy heck, Batman. All right, and there we go. We have our one ingot that we needed. And the atomic disassembler is ours. So cool, this thing just looks menacing. Like, I could just re really atomically disassemble you. And now that it's charged, let's go see how well it does. Um, we got a little cave system down here. All right, let's try it out. So I do believe this has a good attacking power. 21 hearts of damage. Okay, so it mines kind of okay. Um, let's see here. Are there any control key configs that we need for mechanism? Okay. Um, all right, so we're in normal mode. Item mode switch. Page down, not gonna work. Page up, not gonna work. Home, home works. Ooh, normal, fast as frick, boy. Oh, insta mine. Let's go. I love it. And then, what does that mean? Okay, so it still does the same amount of t attacking power. Um, let's see if we can find a mob that we can use it on. Let's see how quickly it mines um, Skystone. That's actually really quick. Skystone is a very long block to break. Do you know what I mean? Is this somebody's base? No. Yes, I have no idea. This kind of looks like somebody's base, but then it kind of doesn't at the same time. I am just confused all the time. All right, spooky, scary skeletons. No. 
Okay, it really atomically disassembles these fools. <laughs> I like the atomic disassembler. How well does it mine underwater, though, is the real question. <laughs> it mines pretty quick underwater. But very cool. It mines very quickly, insta mine. So we love to see it. Um, if we pair this up with like a battery backpack, which I believe we have, or just a battery pack or like a wireless charger. Um, these are from Power. They hold a lot of power, but uh, yeah, Power with Power. We just need a couple of these guys, and you know, this thing is pretty much like amazing in every aspect that we could ever imagine. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.